I remember when I was about three years old going to galleries with my dad and being just totally in awe of what I saw and it just grew from there really. I was nurtured very young to develop my own approach to it so it was very surreal sort of imagery that would come out in my formative years. My dad's an artist and I'd be in his studio using all his offcuts, being like, what colour should I use? And he'd always tell me to use whatever I thought. And so from there on it was mostly sketching and more imaginative artworks. It was always more surreal stuff, a lot of stuff from out of my head. I used to go through magazines and stuff when I was a teenager and started developing a, an interest for the subcultures. I was always interested in tattooing, but I never at that stage thought that it could be a career really. It was just something I was really intrigued by. And then my dad did some work with some tattooers. They put together an exhibition and I went to that and was just pretty fascinated from that point forward really. Between what is said and what's unsaid. The things that you can achieve through tattooing are really beautiful and the connections that you can make are really unique and intimate and I find that really, really satisfying. Most of the time you create quite a bond because it is a very intimate experience and so they're putting a lot of trust in you. You end up breaking a lot of boundaries really quickly and have really interesting conversations too. When people get really emotional when it's finished, I feel like they're, they're my proudest moments in tattooing. If people can feel that, can look at it and feel it, then that's when I feel like I've achieved something because that's always what I kind of was attracted to when I looked at artwork and when I looked at tattooing. My painting and my tattoo designs, in terms of technique and stuff, they go hand in hand. In my painting it's more of me trying to convey emotions that people connect to. So it's way more a personal thing. But then I like to sort of overlap that with something that people find a bit more relatable, something that they'd like to have on their skin, you know. So it's great, it's kind of like a, they swim in between each other. I do a lot of fix-ups and cover-ups. It's a really nice feeling to be able to help someone feel comfortable in their body again after being tainted by an experience. You know, like a girl didn't want to wear shorts because she had this thing for like nine years, I think. And being able to fix that up is really satisfying. I come into it from a more artistic background. I dreamed about it, there was no day off. It was just constantly drawing, tracing back, practicing my line work, practicing designing, looking at everything that I could possibly think of that could be translated into tattooing. I get to go and tattoo every day, I paint every day, and 
I guess that has always been my dream, to do something I love every day and have people see it and appreciate it.